Okay, this is just a review, basically, of um, some of The Sims 3 games um, that you can get on iPod and iPod Touches. Obviously, they're not free. Um, I can't remember how much I paid now for um, Sims 3. Is it gone? Uh, Sims 3 there. Um, I think I paid about 2.99. Um, pounds because I live in England, so I don't know what that is in America. Um, but um, The Sims 3 World Ventures was a lot cheaper. I think it was one pound seventy nine, only because I got it when it first came out. So um, that was a lot cheaper. So basically, let's have a look at Sims 3 first. turned off all the push notifications and updates because of the issue with the new iOS update of it running out battery when it's on Wi-Fi um, at an overnight so I just do that because apparently it's supposed to help but I'm just really waiting for a new iOS to come out um, I did have a save game but then I restored my iPod forgot to save it. Uh just pick any so these are the um traits like the game on the computer if you have that that you can pick. So the shy, computationalist, uh good sense of humor, no sense of humor, easily impressed, easily bored, vain, mean spirited, friendly, couch potato. Just pick the random five there. Um, we'll just name anything right now. John Smith will do. So, as you can see, it is quite speedy to load. Um, turn this down a little bit because we see the sound on my phone isn't that good. Um, so we don't want to play the tutorial. Basically, it's very similar to the um, computer in a way that the TV here, you can click on it and you get watch TV turn on, etc. So we'll press watch. So there he is, watching his TV. Alright. Um, so basically all the controls are similar to um, the computer. You just tap and it does basically what you want. Kitchen, bathroom, bedroom, um, interestingly, you can't have children on here, um, and relationships aren't that good either. So, there's the door open, <laughs> and if you go to the end of your path and click here, you get a message like this saying you want to go to town, you click yes, then it has to load the town, but Sim 3 is supposed to be open where it doesn't load when you go to town, so obviously there's that main difference there. Um, here's all the places, this is a shop, so you click shop, and again like Sim 3, it doesn't actually go in the shop like it used to in Sims 2, you just get this shopping list up here and you basically click what you want to buy, and um, you buy it. Um, if you visit someone else's house, you click visit. Um, you can see your sim in the car there. Nope, that wasn't them. Here, walk in. Um, do you want to visit? And then again, it loads, whereas obviously in Sim 3, the whole point of it was that it didn't load and that you just went straight into the house. Um, 
not really much you can interact with stuff as usual um however um if you get a job they made it boring on sims 3 but they've made it even duller on here you just go there literally and that's it and um, there's not really much interest in things to buy either um doing stuff takes ages um just get a job and um, I don't know how long when the job will be. Um thirty. I'll we'll just pour you get this message to see to say you've worked but it's not really that interesting. Um can't speed things up. Got menu. Can't even find the time now. Oh, there. Ten fifty five. So won't be working in the job for a long while. There. Uh, visit the lakes. Loading again, see, shouldn't really be doing that. But then, obviously, you can't have high expectations for this as much as the game. Although, I do not really enjoy the game on um, the uh, computer and actually prefer The Sims 2 a lot, as I really don't enjoy just buying things from a restaurant from outside and not really going into the shop to buy it yourself which I really don't like and obviously there's less like interactions with people I feel because you, there's only certain places you can meet people as you can't go in a restaurant or a nightclub to meet the, the person so that was a big letdown for me um, I don't really think there's much else to show you on here. Um, down here is a wish list. The current wish list is to insult a sim. <laughs> yeah, this camera is awful. Um, it doesn't. It just makes you a little happier if you do insult a sim, but it's not really much of a point to this game. I've played it a couple of times. There isn't a point to it because you can't really decorate your house because there's not many items and just loading other issues just make it annoying to do and then um yeah definitely the fact that you just basically the, the whole idea of the game is you get a job um it's hard to get promoted you to be honest there aren't really many hobbies to do well hobbies or skills to um get you promoted anyway so basically, you just get a job, go to it every day, earn money that you really can't spend on anything anyway. So that's that. Sim 3 World of Adventures. I thought that this would possibly solve some of those issues, but for me, I still felt the same. <laughs> Uh, again, we're going to have to make a different person because the games... Oh, no, wait, we've got some random person. But the games don't, like, sync with each other. Like, on the PC, when you've got someone, you have them in all the games if you want them. So this is my little explorer man. Um, obviously, I'm in China now. Um, basically, this is my room. Not much in there. Sleep. Um, kitchen, etc. Again, you have this button here, which takes you to town, and they do that annoying loading thing that was the whole point of Sims 3. <laughs> Supposed to be going out for free, roaming wherever you want. Um, dark now, so it might be a little hard to see on the camera. So that's base camp. Um, there's a language school, learn language. Um, basically, I have this on my computer as well. Um, basically, you can't learn a language 
um, on the Sim 3 um, thing, but on here they you play a mini game to learn the language, which is quite fun, and you've got to try and get the letters through, oops, sorry, the holes, like when they bounce. So, and then once you've done that, you learn this skill point in the time selected. Um, obviously, you don't have that in Sims 3. You actually um, kind of learn the skill, like you have to get body in um, Kung Fu. I can't remember what it's called on there. Um, something like Kung Fu or, in, or something. Um, so, basically, when you do stuff, that's you don't go into the school, you don't actually learn the things properly, you just play a mini game um, and you can't go into the um, place to actually kickbox or something. Um, basically as well I found that there's a lot of people's houses here and not much else to be honest with you. Um, so there's obviously that language school. I think there might be like one other learning thing one here somewhere um but basically a lot of this is houses like here so a lot of it you meet someone but it's not really meeting anyone because you really can't interact that well with them and can't have kids so overall it's a little disappointing um well i'm very disappointed in it I think I played it like twice and that was it. Um, well, both of them really. I definitely thought there would be improvement in this, but I don't really see one. Um, the same, yeah, uh, you don't get the same interactions and that that you do with Sims 3. Obviously, I wasn't expecting it to be exactly the same, but I was expecting it to be a little more re representative than the, um, to the, computer game than it actually is, um, which is a lot of a letdown, especially with the interactions, as I said, um, can't get married, can't have kids, the house is very disappointing, and just the overall gameplay is very disappointing, and that's it really, so thanks for watching.